Okay, so let's talk about a different kind of graph that we can create, a line graph. Okay, so let's look at this data air miles, and then let's just briefly talk about it really quickly. If I type in air miles after I've done data air miles, you see that it's a time series. There's a collection of values, and if I do time air miles, it'll actually give me the associated times. In this case, the time is years. Okay, each data point corresponds to a year. So now if I do plot underscore Lee, plot Lee's main plotting command, X is time, uh, the time variable, Y is error miles. So we haven't given it a data frame. We've just named the two arguments X and Y, and the variables are in our environment. So R knows where to find them. Okay, then we do that plot, we get this time series plot. And notice wherever my mouse is on the plot, it's giving me the corresponding X and Y value. And you've probably seen a plot like this. If you ever looked at like a market index, like in, in the S&P 500 or something like that, uh, they'll, always, they'll often have a plot like this where they'll have the index value over time. So why don't we actually create a, a multi-line graph just like that using some, some stock market data? Okay, so we already have Plotly loaded up, so we also, just for some data manipulation, need tidyr and dplyr, and I'll go through the commands that we're using from them. Okay, so there's the data EU stock market. So if I do EU, let me do head EU stock markets. Okay, so there's the German, Swiss, French, and British uh, market indices. Okay, and okay, so it's, this is actually a time series type data set, so we need to uh, convert it to a data frame. Okay, so this first command, stocks, uh, assignment, as dot data frame, EU stock markets, that's just going to convert our, our data as it is now into a data frame. Okay, then we're going to pass that into this gather command, gather index and price. And let me, well actually, let me just first show you what this first command does which this one doesn't do much. So stocks, now if I do head stocks, where all I've done is converted it to a data frame, now it's just printing out as a data frame, okay? Notice if I did is.data.frame, our original data, even though it maybe looked a little bit like a data frame, EU stock markets, notice false, it, it is not a data frame. Okay, now when I go through the two commands, where I turn it into a data frame, and then I do the gather command. Let me show now what I've done. That second manipulation is done. Notice what it's done is it's taken it from a long format, uh, from a short format, and converted it into a long format. So there's a variable index, okay? And that index is, was the column name of the data points from before, okay? So this is maybe a little bit less convenient for display purposes way to have the data, but it's how Plotly wants it in order to display multiple lines. It wants it as one giant single data frame with the line, the things that demark the different lines as a single factor variable, okay? And then this final command is just gonna create our time variable, okay? It's going to create our time variable. So if I do head stocks now, there you go. You see time, the, you see the time variable having been, uh, been recreated. Okay, so now when we do plotly, we can do plotly of the stocks. X is time, Y is price, and color is which index it is. Okay, then we do, when we do it, we see that it's plotted the four different index types here. It's given you a little key to each of the colors, and it also does the interactivity where as your mouse hovers over a particular point, it gives you the specific stock market value or the index value um, at that particular point in time. Okay, so this is pretty similar, I would say, to the stock market graphs. You just see if you Google for any of these indexes, indices, um, you know, for example, just Google on the DAX, for example, and it, it'll, it, you'll see exactly these kinds of plots. So it's really a handy plot, and as you can see, it's quite useful. And I can't also stress enough the importance of using tidyr and dplyr 
for doing some of these manipulations. Switching from short to long format is a very common manipulation uh, for data, and TidyR makes that super easy. And dplyr for working with data frames is just essential. Okay, so give it a try. You know, maybe either use this data or try and find some other stock market data to create a multi-line stock market graph and, um, that, and, and try and put it out on a web page.